From dragging the airplane's tail on the runway to flying head-on into fierce crosswinds, Boeing pilots have been pushing the 787 Dreamliner and moving ever closer to certifying the all-new airplane. When we do these big tests, it's a big deal because it is the test. After spending weeks on the road, flight testing in multiple locations, 787 Chief Test Pilot Mike Carricker returned to the office for a brief break and described some of the tests he and the team have been conducting, such as takeoff performance. We start with regular takeoff, like we recommend our airlines crews to do all the time. And then what we do is we go around and we look at how much you can vary from it. You rotate before the predicted airspeed, you rotate after the airspeed, you uh, rotate too fast, uh, you rotate too slow, and it's all to, to uh, define that there's a, a tolerance for error. There was little margin for error when Captain Carricker maneuvered ZA-001, the first Dreamliner, for a takeoff test called Velocity Minimum Unstick, or VMU. This test establishes the lowest speed the airplane can leave the ground and requires putting the tail on the runway carefully. You don't want to hold the tail on the ground because that's actually a big break and it'll slow the airplane down and you'll never get up to the takeoff speed. But then again, you can't let the tail come up because then you're missing your data. And so the idea is to get the tail down quickly, smoothly, and just hold it on the ground. Just, just hold it on the ground and then hold that attitude and then you have to fly away. Next up, landing the Dreamliner on very wet pavement. Crews dump more than 50,000 gallons of water on an ungrooved runway. Then Captain Carricker had to pull off two landings. Now we do one with the manual brakes, and then we do another one using the airplane's automatic braking system. We demonstrate that the, the tires spin up and that the anti skip system works per design. And we use a normal technique uh, for the pilots so they don't have to do anything different. Wet is one thing, windy is another. ZA002, the second Dreamliner, fought winds of 30 knots to prove the airplane is designed to handle high crosswinds. One of the kind of conditions that requires more piloting skills. Dan Mooney, vice president of 787-8 Development, explains how the pilots position the plane for landing. The pilots actually crab the airplane to angle the nose of the airplane into the, into the wind. At a certain point, um, the pilots will begin to turn the airplane back down to line up with the runaway just in time for touchdown. We're really doing well in the airplane uh, part, and it's very exciting to see all these individual parts starting to be added up. And soon, Captain Carricker and the team will be back up in the air to test some more.